these are the most tragic of days. Um, I have just come from the border of the Rafa crossing and now just on the outside of the compound and we could uh, see Gaza. At least we could see cranes that were on the territory of Gaza. We couldn't go any closer. I very much hope to be able to enter Gaza and also uh, going to Israel on this particular mission. The suffering of children and women and men, old and young, uh, is profound and it is ongoing. As the Secretary General of the United Nations has said, as the head of uh, OCHA has said, Martin Griffiths, as the head of the World Health Organization has said, there's a dire humanitarian situation developing. That we have uh, active investigations ongoing in relation to the crimes allegedly committed in Israel on the 7th of October uh, and also in relation to Gaza and the West Bank and our jurisdiction going back to 2014. But this is a moment of objectivity, it's a moment of quiet reflection and it needs to be a moment in which the international community and the international architecture built on the rubble of the Second World War, the terrible gas chambers and the Holocaust the raising of cities throughout of Europe was meant to create institutions that would ensure never again would we see abominations where people could be targeted because of their race, their religion, their culture, where they come from or what passport they hold. Those promises need to be fulfilled. We're independent, independently looking at the situation in Palestine. We are looking at the events in Israel and the allegations that uh, Palestinian nationals have also committed crimes. We need cooperation, we need assistance, but we're going to have the determination, the stamina and the professionalism to make sure we separate allegation from fact, that we can look at the evidence, investigate incriminating and exonerating evidence equally, and most fundamentally at this moment underline the fact that there should not be any impediment to humanitarian relief supplies going to children, to women and men, civilians. They are innocent. They have rights under international humanitarian law. These rights are part of customary international law. These rights are part of the Geneva Conventions and they give rise to even criminal responsibility when these rights are curtailed under the Rome Statute. This must be a moment where we share our humanity. Jew, Muslim, Gentile, Christian, atheist, find the common ground together to think of children, civilians. They are part of us. We are part of them. And we need to make sure the law is on the front lines and the law is seen to ameliorate the suffering of so many at this moment who are living in terror, who are frightened and have a right to be protected by the institutions built after the Second World War and are equally entitled to the protection of international law and my office is determined to make sure we vindicate those rights wherever possible and wherever we have jurisdiction.